Well, new details in the coronavirus pandemic. President Biden is announcing the expansion of those booster shots to millions more Americans. It's for certain groups of people who got the Pfizer shot more than six months ago. Booster shot is free and easily accessible. Booster shots will be available in 80,000 locations, including over 40,000 pharmacies nationwide. Now, there are expected logistical challenges with the new booster offering. KNBC 9's Michael Mahoney explains how all of this is going to work. This affects people fully vaccinated with the Pfizer shot at least six months ago. That would be seniors 65 and older, residents of nursing homes and long-term care centers. For many, pharmacies will be the site for the boosters. So they can both document the dates to make sure that they are outside that range and which vaccine the patient received. Healthcare workers and people between 50 and 64 with risky medical conditions may also get the boosters. And people older than 18 with health conditions should consider it as well. They're going to give pretty broad discretion for pharmacists and other healthcare professionals to administer that shot. In a KNBC interview, White House COVID advisor Cameron Webb says that the supply is there for those who still need to get a first or second shot. There are more than enough doses for those 70 million people to get their shots and also for people to get their boosters. That's our plan. This plan is not as broad as the one first offered by President Biden, and it does not include people vaccinated with the Moderna nor the Johnson & Johnson shots. Yet, not cutting any corners, but we think it'll be in a matter of weeks. As many fully vaccinated Pfizer clients are now eligible for a COVID booster shot. Michael Mahoney, KNBC 9 News. The Kansas governor is authorizing that third shot. A spokesperson for the Missouri Department of Health, though, says they're sorting through what they call mixed messages from the federal government on boosters. The positivity rate in both states continues to fall. In Kansas, 8.5% of COVID tests are coming back positive. That's the lowest rate in eight weeks. In Missouri, 9.6% of tests are coming back positive. That is also an eight-week low. Ray's Cafe in Blue Springs has shut its door. It was on Thursday. A Jackson County judge ruled the owner's defiance of the mask mandate is a public health threat and increases the risk of COVID transmission. Ray's Cafe cannot reopen as a public or private business until it gets a food permit back.